But uh, this is just a bit of a quick one. This is one of these little tips and hints on Curia gladiators and uh, Spartans, I suppose, as well. Um, they both have these cans that um, uh, are um, embedded in there. Can be a bit of a pain to work on, more on the Spartans. Um, uh, we've got a Spartan here somewhere. Yeah, okay. Well, here's, um, here's a Spartan here, and that whole can area has to come out, so basically through the, the sections there but the real problem is that all your wires you you basically a lot of the time uh, have to um, you know take a lot of those off from the channel selector PCB you name it okay so what we had here was um, the um, seven point um, uh, I'm gonna think now my head um, wrong 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 sorry for so 33 point um, uh, 853 um, which um, they generate um, around here 33.853 is what you set up for 33.8535 um, uh, uh, megahertz exactly for uh, AM um, and then basically it's 33.8565 um, for lower sideband and basically what happens with these um, in here if you find um, that um, you can get, let's say, a lower adjustment, uh, lower sideband adjustment, and not a an upper sideband adjustment, or the opposite, an upper sideband and not a lower sideband. So here we're looking at the um, offset for lower sideband. So basically, CT2 here um, is the um, way that that um, we will adjust, and CT3 on this crystal here will be upper sideband. So once again, to adjust lower sideband, the little um, as you just see in there, sorry, that's a better shot of it. Um, CT2 and here CT3. Now, what often happens, and you might be looking at this little fella here and thinking, what's he up to here? Well, um, <laughs> I'm going to show you the lazy man's trick uh, to sometimes fixing a, a problem. So, in this particular radio, uh, this oscillator wasn't adjusting uh, for the upper sideband. So, that's the um, 33.8565 uh, megahertz. And to pull all this whole board out, etc., isn't a pain when you sort of think all I need to get to is that fella there. Now, um, <laughs> you could try and snip it out if you wanted to, but if you have a look on the circuit, that capacitor that's right next to it, right there, um, actually runs in parallel with that um, fella there. Now, the ground is on this side, um, and you can sort of see that when you have a look at the um, uh, one of the demo ones we've got sitting here. Oh, let's have a look here. Um, this is a, a bit of a look at the, the, the back side of this, this board here. So as you can see, um, along this section, if I just have a look, yep, uh, along this section here, they run their grounds all across the, um, uh, uh, the foil side here, this, this um, tin side, meaning that when we take a trimmer from there to ground anywhere, close by, of course, um, we can, uh, we can pretty much replace that um, trimmer without having to uh, pull a million boards out and bits take wires off everywhere and you know save yourself just a lot of time. Um, and, uh, and certainly you can also proof of concept, um, even if you did want to pull the board out, this is a nice quick way to actually prove that, yep, um, in this case, um, uh, TC2 over here is dead. So what we've done, we've come over to the capacitor, which is basically right next to it, and we can see that when we have a look over here, we can see that there's the um, the trimmer, there's the capacitor. Um, if I'm looking at that right, sorry. <laughs> Gotta have a little look now. Oh, geez, I'm just having a look. Yep, yep, okay, so, um, yes. <laughs> now I'll drop the board, that'll be right. Hang on, let me grab that. <laughs> late at night here and I'm just getting a bit of light on this because um, as I'm looking through the camera um, it's a little bit hard to see but you can actually see that um, they follow the same paths um, as they come through now what I'm doing is I'm just coming off this capacitor here which is the same joint as the um, the active side of the um, of the trimmer there and what we're doing is we're just going straight across there we just scratched a bit of um, the um, the tin there and uh, wacko and basically that becomes our adjustment point for um, being able to get this thing on frequency and um, actually we'll just have a little play with it one two three four five one two one two three four five and she's um, all going very well um, so that's just a quick little tip um, not everyone would want to do it that way uh, look 
you know, it probably takes you about um, uh, 40 minutes to pull the whole board out, get to it. The problem sometimes is the damage you do going in and out. And, um, um, you know, it's just as simple as sometimes, uh, you know, forgetting. Uh, I mean, if you are going to pull the board out, photograph this, photograph this. Be very careful about your channel connections um, uh, to your channel switch. Now, this is a um, 40 channel switch in this one. And uh, they're a bit rarer, the... Um, uh, 40 channel gladiators, uh, but um, and this one's been well worth uh, getting up and running because uh, it's got a Really really nice um, front panel on it actually um, have a look at this apart from it needs a bit of a clean But um, you know, there's no holes drilled in it um, When we clean up that little bit of um, <laughs> Looks like someone dropped their drink on it there, uh, but you know look at the top of it well worth you know bringing back um, into uh, a nice working radio, but uh, we're getting I haven't even tuned this yet. I think we're getting, um, hello, one, two, oh, what do you go? Yep, okay, so we're getting sort of 11.9 watts or so. Um, and this chassis as it is, at the moment, if I put, um, oh, I've got generate on, sorry, let's have a look here. Oh, boy. We're hearing there. Now, where are we? Uh, I've got to remember, <laughs> we've got to look at the volumes there. Right, RF gain, that's up full there. We're certainly hearing a signal there. Uh, that's the one we want to hear. We're next door to it. So we've got 50 microvolts in, have we? 50 at the moment. We're going to need to adjust that meter up a little bit. Um, oh, hang on. Sorry. No, it won't be the meter. That's better. Sorry. Uh, that's better. Okay, so actually, um, take that back. S9 at 51 microvolts. That's close enough for me. That's uh, actually quite good. Um, always remember that too. If you're, um, I'm, I'm popping an AM signal into it at the moment. If I was popping an FM signal in, um, it would change where that sits a bit as well, and you'll, you'll find it's a little different. And sometimes, it, and that's a very good example of AM versus FM at times. The way that you'll inject, um, I find the AM signal as we go there is actually a lot more accurate. See, I'm getting about, yes, I'm probably, you know what, I could even peg it back a tad, just a very, very minute tad. Um, the adjustment for your S meter, by the way, um, is just in here. So we're at the, so I give you, here's your can, PLL can, come back through, transmitter stage, etc. Um, and there's two little devices here. One is actually a sensitivity on this side. This is purely just an, an S meter reading. So if I was to sit here and put that in there very carefully and just have a look here, you should see that meter will just adjust ever so slightly one way or the other. Now, sorry, ever so slightly. Now we set that to S9, close enough, and we're, got, we're done. Be very careful when you're pulling these out too. Um, you, you can easily break the little uh, pots there, but uh, you know, should be right. Okay, so that's just a quick sort of um, howdy duty session on um, how to save uh, pulling a whole board out and um, and fix an oscillator on the. Um, uh, that, and I'll tell you now, those if I had a dollar for every trimmer that I've seen go faulty on um, uh, you know, old unit and chassis, they're um, the, the biggest sign of it will be that the oscillator just doesn't adjust. It's working, you know, but it's it's three KCs off or something silly or two KCs off and you can't seem to get it to swing. Um, go looking at the uh, trimmer every time. Uh, we'll do a bit of a run through uh, at some stage. I mean, there's a couple of little tips. Um, your uh, mic preamp um, all comes in through this area here. Uh, they feed off um, the front. Uh, they follow around on a, um, is it a yellow wire. I was trying to remember now, it's going back a bit for me. Um, comes around. They, they come into the PACB switch in the back and then down, this is your mic amp area right here. So right here in the front, that's your mic gain control right there. So if you want to just sort of whip that up a bit. Uh, but we'll go through a full tune on a, a Curia Gladiator at some stage and um, give you a bit more of an idea. But I just thought it was interesting just to show you the, um, the trimmer. Uh, modification without having to pull the whole uh, board out because uh, it's it's so easy to do and and you know what the opposite of having to pull it all out is just a pain so um, if you can live with the fact that it's a little bit sort of um, uh, you know different uh, in the way we do it well save you a lot of time and certainly you'll have a lot less risk factor of damaging anything in that PLL section pulling it in and out and rewiring it back all in you know and causing any dilemmas 73s from VK3CM Jack Daniels Whiskey 229. Please subscribe and uh, we'll try and get a few more up soon. All the best. Cheers.